Welcome to this instructional video about managing virtual chassis fabrics, or VCFs, using Genospace Network Director 1.6. This section provides an overview of the VCF architecture. VCF is a low-latency, high-performance fabric architecture that can be managed as a single device. Network Director supports VCFs that are constructed using the spine and leaf architecture, as shown here. In the spine and leaf architecture, each spine device is connected to one or more leaf devices. A VCF is controlled by a master routing engine device, which is one of the spine devices. Another spine device is a backup routing engine, which assumes the master role if the current master is not available. Now we'll look at the features Network Director provides for managing VCFs. This section describes discovering a VCF. Discovering a configured VCF is similar to discovering any other device type, using the Discover Devices task in Build Mode. Enter the VCF's management IP address. Enter the credentials for the VCF. The account must have administrator privileges. After the VCF is discovered, it appears under the Fabric node in the View pane in Logical View. The member devices are separated into subfolders by their type spines and leaves. This section describes viewing VCF connectivity. In build mode, when you select a VCF in the view pane, a topology diagram opens showing the VCF's connectivity. VCF configuration information appears above the diagram. The master routing engine device is identified by a gold star. The backup routing engine is identified by a silver star. You can mouse over any device or link to see more information about it. This section describes setting up a new VCF using Network Director. You can include a device in a VCF whether or not Network Director manages it. To start setting up a VCF, in Build Mode, select the Setup Virtual Chassis task in the Device Management section of the Tasks pane. Changes you make with this task are applied to devices immediately when you finish the task by clicking the Deploy button. On the Select Provisioning Method page, select a Provisioning Mode and a Mixed Mode setting for the VCF. The Auto Provision method requires you to identify just the spine devices. When eligible leaf devices with a default configuration connect to a spine device, they are automatically configured as leaf devices. The Manual Provision method requires you to identify all the VCF members. Spines must always be QFX5100 devices. The mixed mode setting determines which device models can be leaf nodes. With mixed mode disabled, leaf nodes must also be QFX5100 devices. With mixed mode enabled, leaf nodes can be any QFX series model. On the Add Devices page, select the member devices for the VCF. You can select devices using either a graph or a grid view. Use the Switch To button to select the view. In this example, we'll use the graph view. To add spine devices, click Add Spines in the Spines area. You can add devices whether or not they are managed by Network Director. To add a device that is managed by Network Director, click the Manage Devices button. In the Add Devices Spine Nodes window, select the spine devices to add. For each selected device, specify its role by clicking its Role cell. To designate the master routing engine, click the star in the designated master cell of that device. To add a device that is not managed by Network Director, click the New Devices button. Add a new device by entering its serial number and selecting its VCF role. You can add multiple devices by clicking the Add More button. To remove a device from the Spines list, click the trash can icon at the end of its row. When you finish adding Spine devices, click the Done button. The process for adding leaf devices differs depending on the provisioning method you selected. If you selected the manual provisioning mode, you must add all leaf devices manually. Those leaf devices can be managed by Network Director or not. 
If you selected the Auto Provision mode, you do not need to add LEAF devices. You can choose to add LEAF devices that are managed by Network Director by selecting the Assign LEAF Nodes Manually checkbox. To add LEAF devices, click Add Leaves in the Leaves area. Adding LEAF devices is similar to adding spine devices, except that you do not specify a member role. All LEAF nodes have the line card role. On the Add Devices page, the VCF topology diagram includes the devices you added. When the topology diagram contains all the VCF members you want, you are ready to move to the next step. When you assign devices using the grid view, the VCF members are not grouped by role. They are presented together in one table. This means when you add any device, you must specify its role and type. When the table contains all the VCF members you want, you are ready to move to the next step. Use the Specify Software Package page to configure the automatic software upgrade feature. This feature automatically installs the software version you specify and devices that join the VCF. You specify one software package for each device model you added to the VCF. You can store the software packages on an FTP or HTTP server or on the device. Select where the software package is stored, then enter the path to it. On the Review page, you can review the settings you made. To edit settings, click the Back and Next buttons to navigate between wizard pages. To deploy the changes to the devices you added to the VCF, click the Deploy button. After deploying the changes, the VCF appears under the Fabric node in the View pane, with Spine and Leaf devices in subfolders. This section describes managing a VCF using Network Director. To start managing an existing VCF, select the VCF container node in the View pane, then select the task Manage Virtual Chassis Fabric under Device Management in the Tasks pane. A topology diagram of the VCF opens with the same features as described in the section about viewing VCF connectivity. To change the VCF configuration, click the Edit VCF button. The buttons Add Spines, Add Leaves, and Specify Software Package appear. Use these buttons to add devices to the VCF and specify software packages for the automatic upgrade feature. These tasks are similar to the steps in setting up a new VCF. To delete a member device, mouse over it and click the X icon. To replace a member device with another device, mouse over the device and click the pencil icon. When you finish making changes, click the Deploy button to deploy the changes to the VCF. This section describes analyzing a VCF. Network Director analyzes a VCF and provides information about its health, connectivity, and topology. To see the results of the analysis, in Monitor Mode, select the VCF in the View pane, then select the Fabric Analysis tab. The Fabric Health Check tab shows the results of health and connectivity checks on the VCF. The Health Check section shows summary results of the health checks performed. Click the Details button to see more detailed health check information. The Spine to Leaf Connectivity section shows the results of connectivity tests between the Leaf and Spine devices. Leaf devices are listed in the first column. Each Spine device is represented with a column. Each cell shows whether the connection between that Leaf and Spine is up or down. The Topology tab shows the same topology diagram of the VCF that opens when you select the View VC VCF Connectivity task.